Hi, everyone. This is Jack Sweeney from the CFO Thought Leader Podcast. And today I wanted to whiteboard for you a matrix. I'll call it the Finance Innovation Matrix. So let me begin by putting objectives on the x-axis and decision-making on the y-axis. And so objectives will span from stable to changing. Now, as you know, there's been a lot written about innovative cultures and how they're organized to be responsive to change. We'll have decision-making span from centralized to decentralized. Now, I'll spare you my pen and ink here and use a green square to highlight the lower left quadrant. It's here in the green quadrant where businesses have resided for most of the, the 20th century. And it's here there are stable objectives and centralized decision making. It's inside the green quadrant where finance could hand down budgetary edicts to the front lines to abide by. So let's call this the age of authoritarian finance. Meanwhile, inside the new century, businesses are quickly moving to the upper right. And so let's use a, a red square to highlight that quadrant. Now it's inside the red quadrant where there's quickly changing objectives and decentralized decision making. And this calls for not only new tools such as rolling forecasts, let's say, but entirely new ways to manage people. And we call this the collaborative age of finance. And it's really this movement from the lower left to the upper right that's presenting a huge challenge for finance leaders who've been prepared, really, for green quadrant companies, only to discover it's a, it's a red quadrant world. And so what we've been doing at CFO Thought Leader is speaking to CFOs about their career journeys and how they've helped their companies arrive inside this upper right quadrant, the red quadrant.